I go fast, yeah, I go hard. I wanna find some peace, so I pray to God. Hi, ladies. Hi, Chance. It's Cindy. I'm sitting out here on my porch having my coffee. Shelby just came out. Um, I just wanted to, um, you know, chit chat with you guys while I had my coffee. And um, I just got home from church and I changed clothes and came home and emptied the trashes and scoured the bathroom sink. Kind of put, a, put away a few things. And then I fixed another pot of coffee. And I thought, well, this would be a perfect time to have a chat because I'm all alone in the house. Woo -woo. And... Um, and so the house is quiet and I won't be interrupted. But um, I, church was nice. I go to this beautiful church. It's, a, it's called Church of the Big Woods. And it's a Presbyterian church. It's not really huge. Probably the same size as my church in Palm Springs. Very, very similar. But today they talked about one of the missions that they support. And that mission has to do with bringing clean water to, I think they said seven places on earth. So it was like uh, Ethiopia, Nairobi, and they just really talked about what the struggle of life was like when you have no clean water and about how, these, how women are in charge naturally of bringing water to their families and that in some cases the women arise in some villages the women arise before daylight they walk 10 hours with a bucket and they and in the bucket they can put 40 I think it was 40 ounces of water maybe it was 40 pounds of water and then they walk 10 hours back to their village and by the time they get back they hardly have enough water to even clean their children it's you know used for drinking and cooking i guess so they're bringing water to villages and they're bringing and they talked about how they're doing it and they're it's not just that they're bring digging a well it's much more complicated they're getting the village the village does 20 percent of the work and then the, the church mission does 80, and they send out engineers and figure out whether to drill a well or open a well that's been shut or closed, and then they form a water council. And anyway, it was very interesting, and it was very eye-opening. So, um, so that was my church sermon, and every song that we sang and every part of the Bible that we read had to do with water. So I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, I also wanted to talk to you guys. When I'm outdoors like this, sometimes the sun is really shining on me and my lighting, sometimes my, I look really... <laughs> you can practically see every pore in my, in my skin uh, because the lighting is so severe on me. Now, this lighting may be too dark because I'm totally in the shade, but um, I just wanted to let you know to please be forgiving when you see me outside with the sunshine flashing straight on my face and, I want, and I'm wanting to film. Lighting has so much to do with, you know, how the video comes out. Um, all right, let's see. I wanted to share. See these two geranium pots, that one and this one. I bought those at the local nursery and brought them, uh, brought them home in my car. They fit fine. And I just love them. And they're so pretty and they add so much uh, color to the porch. So anyway, I'm hoping that you notice those beautiful geraniums. You know, I love geraniums. I love, I just love the red color. And um, let's see. Okay, the other thing that I want, the thing I really wanted to talk to you about was um, the, my confession as an online shopper. Now, I have three stories. One is a sad story. So you might want to go get a Kleenex because you might want to wipe your tears away. I have, I found this site a while ago named I Offer, just like it sounds, I-O-F-F-E-R.com. And it's a Chinese site. Sometimes products come from China. Sometimes they come from New York. I've ordered a few things from there. I've ordered makeup bags from them. And uh, and so anyway, I was online and I ordered this cute little, it wasn't a makeup bag, but it was this little like purse. And anyway, I, I never received it. And I have a complaint against pay, not a, I, I've gone to arbitration with through PayPal. 
and the lady, well, there's three vendors involved and they keep taking money from PayPal out of, out of my account, out of my checking account. And they're not authorized to do so, but, and it's a pattern. It's $2 and 50 cents, $7, $25. And then the next time, $2.50, $7, $25. And they've done it three times. So, um, so anyway, I, I wrote a letter to PayPal and they're, they're helping me. And, and so beware of the site called I offer. Then I also just ordered, um, you know, I love to shop eBay and, oh, let me show you what I just got from eBay. It is so darn cute. Look at this adorable bracelet. It was $10. Now it's gold color and it has this little knob, knob on it right here. And then it has this little chain. And then this has a little rhinestone in it. And I think it's a, um, I want to say Kate Spade or Michael Kors, something like that. There was a name attached to it, but you, it doesn't really matter. What matters is how much I love it. And look how, how adorable is that? So who long, who knows how long it will stay gold tone, but it's, I'll get my money's worth out of it. And then the other, th oh, and I just ordered three really cute tops from Neiman Marcus. They had a really great sale, 30% off. And then if you typed in the code right before you checked out and they gave you the code, then you got another, I think, 15%. It, it was really a great sale. I bought three tops and the total was $79. One of them is a... Um, a designer top I can't remember her name and well they were all designer tops I can't remember their names so one of them is black of course and then one is uh, a real color a Dana Buckman I think real colorful cute top they all come right to the top of my thighs and and one's an off-the-shoulder one a little a peasant type top so anyway there one arrived and the other two are at the post office so I have to go pick those up tomorrow Okay, the last thing I want to talk to you about are these new style of shoes that I've been wearing. Because when you come to Idaho, you just can't wear kitten heels. And you you have to be, you know, it's all um, woods. And even the paved streets are very like this. So I, before I came here, I, I went online. <laughs> I went on eBay and I bought these. There's a new shoe that my some of my friends have been wearing and they're not so bad looking and they're sort of orthopedic. So they're called Fit Flops. And so this is one of my pair of Fit Flops. Now most of you have probably seen these, but I think they're quite expensive. They're just made out of rubber. But um, I guess this is ergonomical or whatever. But the, and you know, because they have this little tassel thing, it kind of makes them a little fancy. It dresses them up a little bit. So I've been living in these. So I bought these from eBay for a little bit less than what they would have cost. Then I bought these fit flops from a friend of mine who was moving and she had a moving sale. And so she, she was getting rid of some things and we were the same size. They had hardly been worn and she's a good friend. So I know from where they came. And so these are like, these are a little bit fancy because of this. And this heel is not quite as high as this one. This one gets a little bit higher. I prefer the higher heel because I have a high arch. But anyway, if, if you guys are interested or need shoes that don't look too bad and really do feel good on your feet and they're easy to walk in in like the wilderness, um, these fit flops are great, but they're very pricey. They're like, oh, they're like, a, can be $160. I know I didn't pay that for these, but I did pay these used. I think I paid 70 and these were, I think 65. I'm not sure, but I, like I said, I got them on eBay. I confess I'm an eBay shopper. I confess I'm an online shopper and um, my eye offer purchase did not turn out very well, but the other things that I buy usually do turn out well. And I just don't like going into department stores anymore and trying things on and standing in line. So that's why I enjoy shopping online. Okay, I went through my little list of everything I wanted to talk to you about. And so I'm going to sign off. So this is Cindy in, on my front porch here in Idaho having my coffee. And it was a pleasure chit-chatting with you today. So until our next conversation.
You got someone new, I know it. Yeah, but I will keep on and I. 